Hey everyone, Zev here, and welcome to Breathage Overview. Okay, well, um, this concept is wild. <laughs> you're in space, but you have an annoying chicken, but then you're doing uh, farm work, and then it's just someone attacking you, like, oh, that's a lot. <laughs> and apparently there's a whole series about it on the pancake side of things, so it's here now in VR. <laughs> So Breathage is a space action adventure game where I don't even know because the description isn't saying much either. From the looks of it we'll be flying in space and just wandering around, collecting items, talking with some weird ass creatures, with a chicken sidekick that follows us around and our goal is to save the universe from who knows what. First of all the visuals are looking a little bit clunky, mostly because we're in space so there's a big scale going on. We don't necessarily get nowadays games like that where we actually are in space you know on foot not necessarily by any vehicle the only time i would remember something like that happening was in lone echo pretty much so it's interesting we're getting a full-on free space exploration here it's very clear or unclear to me that the whole purpose of this project will be to explain its concept and make it make sense. Considering I already feel overwhelmed by just looking at the trailer, I don't have that much hope for the actual gameplay, but it is something rather unique for the platform, whether for good or bad, and definitely stands out as something that wasn't necessarily made before, maybe for a good reason. Some shooter elements, interactions, flying around, I just essentially need to jump right into it because any further speculations will just make me more confused. <laughs> Let's go cluck in space. Well, cluck me, is that our man? <laughs> Good thing your beard gave you away. You're a damn comet flying by once in a decade. Grandfather will be overjoyed. Uh, hey, what's that red button on your left hand? I don't know, but I'm leaking. Oh, eh, I wish it was self-destruction. Turn around, arms, legs. Speaking of your ship, the rear's gone. Oops, <laughs> there's a breach in your spacesuit. Bad sign. We need some duct tape. Can't fix that with a chicken. Come on, find some. Okay, but do we have some locomotion? Unfortunately, no. It's just snap turning and then maybe smooth locomotion on the ground, but I'm in space now, so I can't really tell. <gasps> oh, a perfect extended emergency kit. WD-40, duct tape, one round. Okay, so it's the economy option for throwaway employees. Well, oxy sensor on your left hand. You're running out of breath. I saw a spare in the next room. I wouldn't say the textures are polished in terms of the smoothness. And the resolution from the distance is also not that good. But only the screen. The actual thing is fine for some reason. Get out. Jesus. What do you have in the back of your head? <laughs> okay. That vending machine against the wall. Test your luck with it. candle in your mouth or behind your back. You'll like it. One oxygen candle in the entire ship. You're terminally optimistic. There's a crack over there. I got in, you get out. Then go. Well, never mind. Let's look for an extra large size hole. Give it a knock. It might open. 
I see your own doors don't answer to you. Oh my god. <laughs> what the hen did you get there for? Where are you going with this? Try hitting on that door again. Gently this time. My god, you're in my face. Look me, it worked. <laughs> now go ask it out. Don't forget you're losing oxygen if you move. Just like in real life, every step brings you closer to death. <laughs> Ooh, what's the thing in that case? <laughs> Take it. We'll tell everyone it's an alien weapon. Keep important stuff in your pockets, always at hand. And what are those? Yeah, socket in your pocket. Oh, gotta get out. I need some space. I need some space. I bet one of my eggs it was even worse before the accident. Useless fact, oxygen zones rely on super glue to hold pieces of air together. Hey, that's your crap on that poster. It seems kind of low neck ish I mean... Not in terms of quality, but... Just the whole feeling. Crafting stations make brand new things out of junk, but we're still living in a junkyard. God damn this breath edge. We'll figure it out. Grab my headpiece and point it at this thingy. I'll show you some magic. Scanning, do not unplug your chicken. <laughs> right, so you upgrade this thing to shoot black balls at red balls. Uh, never seen a red ball here, though. If you had anything worth a damn, it's floating in outer space now. Let's go check. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, the quality for Quest is okay, in terms of the space itself. It's a little bit static. Like nothing's moving. Welcome to our own junkyard. Parking is free of charge for the first 10 years. Chicken scope, give it a whack. My chicken scope, chicken scope. You haven't shown up in ages, all cocky now, thinking yourself a big bird. Good thing you're sending us money. You'd rather not know what the old man spends it on. Yeah, so this is... I hope you're on vacation here, not on a business trip. I can tell you're barely leaving the office. There's no way you have a girlfriend. <laughs> Duh, you can't order one with a business lunch. Can you shut up? Well, if you don't feel like talking, say it. So this is true first quest game that you're actually traveling in space by yourself. Full stop, like, pretty cool. It's been a while, but we made it. Do not come close to me. And the scale is like also accurate. Wait, those are those red balls. I'll keep my distance for now. 
but that's just cool in general. A data bobbin? The old man has a couple of those. They have vids of people drinking from mugs on them. Bring me closer. Although I definitely need smooth turning, which is something easy to add, but should be at this point like mandatory. Do not unplug your chicken. I have fathomed the essence of this crap. We'll craft another. Sending you the recipe. Uh, check your spam just in case. <laughs> I must show you my radar. This thing will wow you. Come here now. <laughs> See, it's a gold mine of a junkyard. Has everything you need for crafting. The strength of your grip, though. Are you one of those mugborn? Spill it. Doing paperwork, aren't you? But that's all right. You'll find a real job one day. I don't know if I like this commentary in general. It's like forcing to be funny. <laughs> oh, this music plays when you're running out of oxygen. You got an oxy candle? No. And how do I collect it? Behind my shoulder, okay. <laughs> I dub the uni resource. Oh, here we go. Each candle holds another two minutes of your humdrum life. Well, eh, resources look different back in my day. But can I store it? No. Which I mean by the way, check out my chicken scope. I can swear better than the old man now. Cluck you all. <laughs> Easy now. Save some for later. Can't breathe ahead of time. But you don't have lungs that big. Maybe the game would be easier if we could stash them though. I don't necessarily know what is this game going for. I would definitely appreciate a jetpack. And this just reminds me to go back and play Monroe Neko. <laughs> I mean, there's definitely 360 stuff going on. Wish it would be more dynamic. What's happening here? Uh-huh. Rubber is humanity's natural enemy. Messes with reproduction. Oh my god. Gonna craft duct tape? Mm, I love the smell. And I can quit if I want. So we have the whole inventory, but like it's here, not 
personally on me, I suppose. Trying. Yeah, I don't get those interactions. My God. <laughs> Say it's like abnormal speed. It's cute. Ah, the fuller it is, the faster. Okay. Take note oxygen use is minimal when you thrust. <laughs> and there is wrench, apparently. Returning to our muttons. So, in what kind of pen do you work? Oh, let me guess in three tries. You're a ficus plant in a bank. A circus clown? <laughs> nah, all the clowns have long worked for Breath Edge. Uh, and they wouldn't accept you into the corporate ranks. You've got bad heredity. I figured there's gonna be a tool like that. Activate the chick radar. Let us save the junkyard from all the junk. Electronics are traditionally extracted from robots. Nature is fascinating. The problem I have, however, is that the gameplay feels a tad boring, at least for now. Maybe it's like an extended tutorial area, but it's not very exciting.
And it's not like pulling motion, it's just automatic. Plastic takes forever to decompose. This piece could be a hundred years old. Show a bit of respect. Okay, well, we stopped there. I did not feel like I played a lot, but it's just that the tempo of the game is a tad slow. I will say that I'm happy that we finally have a game that's set in space and you are traveling like low Neko style. The textures are a little bit unblended, but in terms of the scale, I think they are very much justifiable. It definitely has a slow start because I felt like nothing really happened in those 20 minutes. And my only note is that the game needs a smooth turning because that's just the standard nowadays. We have some resources going on, oxygen management, so it's kind of like a survival. For now, it's a little bit boring. The commentary itself, from the chicken, mediocre as well, like it's not a high level of comedy. And sometimes that big is getting in my way, so <laughs> I just need to push him away. <laughs> but overall, I think this seems decent enough for the platform. I'd just have to see if there's something more happening in terms of the story.